Hello. This time, the idea was to show you how we can take uh, a standard piece of string of text we're going to uh, modify by adding uh, a script onto the end of that um, to make it display some information that it's not designed to do. Now, in order to do that, we need to intercept the traffic uh, and add a particular script onto the end of it. So, a normal piece of traffic that you could intercept. In this case, you could use different types of HTML tags. So, if we add something like hello and then close that off, we would expect the comment to be seen in bold. Right, let's just try that. So, I've intercepted that. You can see here. That our string has been added with bold, which is hex encoded. For that, now we see the word hello is in bold. Now, if we do the same again. Hello. But this time, we intercept that like so we can add another script after this ampersand so we have an ampersand here that says after entering this code the string of hello in bold add it and submit it to the page so what we can do is we can say and do something else here okay and then do this so the bit of text that we put in here can run and be anything that we want it to be depending on the security and how the website's built so what we can do is if we take um, a script this so this will display a pop-up box message box that has the characters XSS in it okay so this is you know, in, in, in plain standard um, text there is no encoding so this may or may not work but we know that what we're doing is on a site that is very vulnerable then this will uh, this will work but normally this wouldn't be the way to do it you would encode that but we'll come to that in a minute let's just try it this way so you can see it so we have our first section followed by an ampersand then we run our script followed by another ampersand and then submit the rest of the query so forward that okay so it looks like our word hello has worked but we haven't seen our in pop box so let's just try that one more time and test okay put in our script followed by an ampersand doesn't seem to be working okay we'll do the same thing but we'll put it the other way around and see if that works tests put it at the start of the query instead of the end see if that works ah, and this time it's worked so it didn't work one way around, did work the other way around. So you have to play around with this because that that did work for me about ten minutes ago. So try different things to see how the how the pages work in a minute train of time. It's not perfect science. Um, so, but what you see is that it hasn't added the comment, but it has run the notification pop up. Okay, so. 
try and do the same thing again, but this time if we encode it in hexadecimal, we'll see if it manages to get past the site. So here's our alert XSS. We can change it to tube or something else if we like. And now we have exactly the same thing but encoded. So let's try that same logic again. encoded version ampersand for that and there we go that has worked from an encoded format um, that is the message from before that's displaying okay right tr try that again but this time after the string of YouTube see if this time it works. So intercept the traffic after the ampersand put in encoded hex followed by another ampersand forward that and this time it's worked. So here we go. So there is different ways of achieving um, inputting your own hexadecimal based encoded string that is more likely to bypass um, any form of intrusion detection uh, that is on the page. As you can see here that this is CSRF protection information that it didn't validate it. No validation was performed post running it so therefore we could do what we like. If it did try and validate it then our hex encoded version should theoretically still work anyway so the different methods to try so give it a go see what you think cheers